I'm with two teachers from Lake Street Elementary. I'm with Kathy Zacharias, Amy Hackbaum. And why are you guys partaking in today's event? We have several kids at our school that have intellectual disabilities, and this event is just a huge piece of inclusion for our kids so they can get together with their best buddy or their peer buddy at school and meet their family so they can form community relationships so they don't just aren't just limited to those peer relations inside school. So it's just a big event so everybody can come together and have fun and realize that we all have the same wants and needs in life. Yeah, and I'm, I'm representing the general ed population that blends in with the inclusion students. So I love the fact that we meet once a month in class, but being here is like a party. So this is gonna be an exciting day. Why do you say it's important to have community inclusion rather than just school inclusion. I think it helps people to realize that individuals with disabilities um, and intellectual disabilities can contribute to the community. They can help. They can. They have goals and aspirations of their own. They might be a little different than ours, but they're important just the same and they should be an important part of our community. Yeah, I think it's definitely important for all the children to see that, hey, there's life outside of the school for everybody not just them, you know, so they can see, hey, we can do things like this together. We can do parties together. We can hang out after school, whatever. Why do you think it's important to provide services for people with developmental disabilities? To give them the same opportunities that other people would. They don't naturally get those same opportunities, so we try to create those accommodations and modifications so they can have those same opportunities and participate to the ability they're able to. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree with what Z just said. I mean, it's just giving them more opportunity. It's wonderful. And what skills do you teach kids with developmental disabilities in the classroom? Everything. Um, we work on communication. We work on social skills. We work on life skills, personal care needs, and academics. So it's kind of tailored to each student individually. And so for kids who struggle more in the gen ed environment, what we'll do is we'll bring kids from the gen ed class in so they can work with that student at their level and come into their environment instead of making that student uncomfortable in theirs. And that just builds that awareness. So if a student has a communication device, they can work with a peer to say, be my communication partner, help me communicate with you. And that builds that relationship and that understanding. And I think when we pair up every month, it's the social aspect of it is what we really hit hard on. We always try to plan something fun for them to do together, whether it's a craft, whether it's a party. We have did like a mini field day kind of thing in the gym last time. We try to do stuff to keep them blended and have a good time. They're always smiling, always. At this event specifically, there's a lot of fun stuff happening, music, painting. What are you guys looking forward to most today? taking a lot of pictures of our kids interacting, not just with their buddies from um, our school, but from all over the county. It's just, I don't know, I'm excited. And it's excited to see not just our students and their buddies' families, but the community come out and support them. Yeah, I think since this is our first year, this is like new for all of us, and I think it's gonna be awesome for us to see how this all comes together today, and for our students to see that as well, so that we have something awesome to look forward to and promote every year. Thank you both so much for doing the interview. You're welcome. Thank you.